Hi everyone, this is Kunzel here. So today I want to quickly go through the official notes given by MiHoYo regarding the companion moving feature since there's more information given. But the most important thing that I wanted to share with you guys will be in the second part of this video where I'll talk about the furnishing items required for each of the furnishing sets that can be that can have a character assigned to it, a companion assigned to it. I'll give like a mathematical view, a summary view type of thing per set as well as a total. If you don't want to bother with, for example, like a specific set, you want to be able to craft all sets, I, all of the sets, I can actually show that view in terms of which other items that you should be crafting now. Because if you are, if you are already say like me at trust rank 10 or 9, and most of the time, your furnishings are going to be just creating those that you want rather than trying to get your trust rank up by now. You, you'll find yourself having a more than enough furnishing spaces in the queue with, with five items in the queue. You, you'll have more than enough to craft actually. So let's make good use of that by crafting the items that are required for the companion set items now before 1.6 is out. So I'll give you guys that view. I hope that is uh, some proper value add to you guys. Let's just quickly go through this first. Uh, I think most most folks who have already looked at this since it was out yesterday. Uh, but yeah, because of my schedule, I couldn't do it immediately. So very simple, just do a work complete a work quest to get your companion move in. Once companion is moved in, you have this feature here in the placement screen, placement UI. And the nice thing is that you can see your companions on the minimap. That's very nice. The most important thing about assigning your companions is to allow them to gain companionship at speed, which in turn increases their friendship level. And it seems that uh, based on your trust rank, you'll notice that in game, uh, they call it trust rank, but in the this adapter energy view, when you click this, right? It actually refers to it as adapter energy rank. So adapter energy rank and trust rank is the same thing. It's not your adapter energy per se, it's actually your trust rank. Okay, so for us, we are, if you follow my video, my strategy, you'll be at 10 now. You'll be at 10 probably a week ago, in fact. Okay, so basically, the higher your trust rank, the more friendship level you will get from your, for your companions. So that's nice, that's a reward for people who rush their trust rank per se. Okay, and it seems that you have to claim your uh, Competition SP directly when you are claiming your realm currency as well, which is fine anyway. We do it very regularly, right? And this is a very nice touch where you can actually talk to the companions who have moved in and you get more converse conversations unlocking at higher friendship levels, so that's nice. And the trust rank also affects the max number of companions you can host in your realm. Now we don't know as because now they're showing trust rank 5, we don't know whether you get some additional boost at trust rank 9 and 10. Probably we get to see it when the 1.6 is out in a week. Yeah, it's about a week or six days from now. From this point of this video anyway. So let's see whether they reward people who rush their trust rank to 9 to 9 and 10 by increasing all this stuff here as well. Yeah. And this round bounty, I believe this round bounty is the friendship SP that you can gain. It should be the friendship SP. So trust rank is also going to increase the amount, max amount of friendship SP that you can store per se. Not gain, but store. Yep. And each companion who stays in the serenity pot has their own favorite uh, furnishing set. And these are the new furnishing set items that I covered in my uh, video yesterday. Do check that out. I'll put a link to the top right in the top right corner as well. It's also in the description. I'll also add it to the description. So it's uh, quite nice to prepare your round currency for that. The total amount of round currency you need is something like 5.1, 5130. Sorry, 5120. But if you want to include valves of a tetra speed to speed up all the new furnishing other than set items, then you'll probably need 10 plus to 20 uh, vows of adapter speed yeah, for, as a safe measure. For me, I do have enough round currency to afford to buy the vows of adapter speed and even some of the furnishings that will be required, direct furnishings, not furnishing blueprints, that will be required in some of these items and I'll cover those as well 
in the uh, second part of this video. So they are just showing you how it looks like when you have the new blueprint and you will say uh, furnishing set is favored by the following companions. So you got three, three pips here. Okay, and ah, okay, you get to collect, you get to collect gifts as well, and it has primo gems, guys, primo gems. So it's basically you should endeavor to get all furnishing, all for the, of the furnishing set, uh, up, though at least those that have, uh, they are favored by companions, and if I'm not wrong, it's fifteen of those. There are total fifteen of furnishing, fifteen furnishing sets. And you should put all the character, all the character should be assigned to it uh, in a rotational basis so as to get all the companion gifts which includes primo gems. Okay, so this is a good source of primo gems and it rewards you for getting your trust rate high because well, I can tell you one of the furnishing set will require you to be it requires the reward from the trust rate 9, trust rate 8, trust rate 10, no, not yet. The furnishing blueprint that is uh, rewarded as part of Trust Rent. For example, the windmill. Windmill is not in any of the furnishing set, but the fountain is, and the Hilliger Chifter Hall is as well. Alright, so this is like a very quick cover or intro on the new information that we have for Companion Moving feature. I don't know about you guys, but I'm quite excited about this feature. I'm really looking forward to it, which is why I have compiled my data for this. And that's what I'm going to show you guys next. Alright, so I had a bit of time to collate all this information. So you see all the different set items here. Okay, hang on. You see all the different set items here. We have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, 15 new furnishing set items that can be uh, that can have companions assigned to it. There's actually going to be, there's actually one existing uh, furnishing set that you can actually assign characters to. I'll cover that shortly uh, later. But essentially, these are the main 15, and I can tell you that each of the characters there will be two of the set the items that they can be assigned to. Two, okay. There will always be two that will be that they can assign to. For example, Zhongli. It will be this Fei Yun study room as well as the glittering street you see here. Now, I haven't had a chance to sort the data according to the characters yet in terms of like a character view. Uh, what I have right now is based on the set item, each of the uh, companion set item. What are the items, what are the furnishings required? Okay, so basically, you see the gist of it. Uh, basically, these five here, the first five are uh, interior. The rest are exterior, starting from the... No, sorry. Starting from the weapon forging station, there's exterior. So it's 6 interior, 9 exterior. Okay? And I will show you, I will show you guys for each of the set item, what are the furnishings required so that you can prepare in advance now. Now, but before I show that, I want to show in-game, right? The best way really to check what are the items that uh, you are missing really will be to go in-game and look at this here. Which is your furnishing screen in your inventory screen. Okay. Now, I know this might not be very sorted per se, but you can filter it by what you want to search. So take for example, right, let's say I want to look at potted plants. How many of each of these potted plants that I have? This is a good view. I only have one each, which means I only created one of these each for the trust basically, other than this. Okay, and the reason why I show this is because this item is actually very, very popular in most of the interior furnishing set item that is favored by companions. I'll show you guys what is required uh, it's quite a high number. So, yep, this is how I would recommend. Uh, you can check what are the items that you need, what other items that you need. Take for example, for this potter crystalline breeze, actually, total unit is actually seven. You need seven of these guys, seven of these, just to, uh, 
across all of these set items. So let me just quick show that quick look on that. Okay, so potted plants, crystalline breeze. This is the one. You look at the number here. It's seven. You need seven of this, man. You need seven of this across all these items here. Essentially, of the six interior ones, five of them require this crystalline breeze, potter plant. Some of them even require two of it. Okay, so that's the reason why I say it's important to start crafting now. Otherwise, you're going to have to use a lot of uh, Vows of Adapter Speed for items that you could have already crafted now without having to use the Vows of Adapter Speed. Of course, all of this is assuming that you want to be able to complete everything on day one, so that uh, everything is done at one go, and you'll be able to enjoy and get your character uh, companion gifts, as well as friendship level ASAP. Friendship levels up ASAP. Okay? So this is the this is just one example of how to prepare for the items. Okay, now let's look at the each of the set items then, since I already showed in game how best I would recommend to check what are the items that you need. Okay, now if I look at the first set item here, this is uh, a mixed poetic pondering. Okay. You know what, let me move the screen so that you can see the title. Okay, so amidst poetic pondering. Now I don't want to move the cell because it will it will move the total value out of the screen. Out of the screen. So I don't want to I want to I don't want to do that. I want to keep the total view here so that you guys can always reference to it. So this is amidst poetic pondering. These are all the items that you need, it requires. Okay. You sh is the number the number is included here, here as well right so it's fairly straightforward one each and you have two of these and the reason why I use, ask you guys to look at the inventory is because existing you already have some of these items they are already placed in part of the set here's the good thing about the inventory view if regardless of whether the item is placed or not placed it will be included which means that if your item is already placed it still will be shown. Unlike if you go to the placement screen, placement screen will only show you items that you have not already placed. Alright. Now this is, the next one is Amidst uh, Whispering Winds. Okay. And if I'm not wrong, yeah, these are the only values that it has. You'll see quite a lot of furnishings required. All of the companion furnishings and items are actually pretty huge in terms of the number of items they have compared to the existing uh, furnishings set items that we have in game right now. Okay, so yeah, I hope this is helpful to you guys. These are the characters for the first one. Okay, and this is the second one, or rather the, sorry, this is the third one, which is Fei Yun starting room, Xing Qiu Ning Guan Zhong Li. These are the items required. All right, those with numbers. So you need one red pine wood rounds two. You need one, sorry, two crystalline breeze potter plant. Okay, all right, maybe let me do this. Ah, then the total view will be gone in that case. But you know what? Let's just move this here. All right, some of this is very long, the text, but I don't think you need the full text to know what the item is anyway. It should be pretty visible. All right, so with this, we still maintain the view on the total number. And these are the items required for the first set item amidst poetic pondering, amidst whispering winds, Fei Yun study room, these are the items required, cloudy haze dream court, these are the items required. Alright, okay, to be safe, right? Let's just sort this so you know. These are the items required, right? This is a better view. Okay, so let me do this from the beginning. This we don't need to sort, this is here already. If I sort this, yep, these are the items required. Okay, I'm gonna stop and pause uh, at each of these items for a few seconds so that at least you guys can pause the video and do a quick reference. Alright, next is the 
Fei Yun Study room These are the items required Okay This is the Cloudy Haze Dream Court These are the items required Okay Actually I think I need to undo each time Next is the secret research lab. Obviously, Sucrose Albedo will be here. Albedo. Then you have Klee and Lisa. Although I don't see how Klee is in the secret research lab, but yeah, I can see Lisa in it. So these are the items required. The color coding just references to the grid itself. So for example, Archive's treasure trove is purple grid. The other items here are blue grid. So that's why they are color coded as such. All right. Now let's look at cottage kitchen. These are the items required for cottage kitchen. Count wise, there's only seven different types, but there's a bit more in terms of this: the pine dining tree requiring three, and sturdy birch vanity requiring two. Now these are all the interior items. I've covered the interior set items already. Now let's look at the exterior, starting from the weapon forging station. Weapon Forging Station, these are the characters, Dilute, Bennett, Noel, Tenyona. Here you have the Fur Weapon Rack, uh, all the different types of weapon racks, Forging Table, Open Air Workshop, some uh, trees and shrubs as well. So you see that there are some items that are uh, shaded orange. Those that are shaded orange are items where you can't craft, you can only buy them from the Realm Depot or the, for some of the handbook rewards do give them the earlier handbook rewards do, or rather the editor mirror rewards do give them the chapter rewards so you may already have some of those so make sure just to check all right once i run through all each of these set items i will show the total as well so at least you guys have the view on this okay this so this is the weapon for this station you have 10 different types total is 13 finishes required Okay, next we have the Idyllic Town. This is the one that was shown in the uh, official MiHoYo post that I covered earlier in the beginning part of this video. Okay, so these are all the items required for this particular side item. These are the characters that you can assign, assign to them. Now, it's not clear whether or not the companionship gift reward that you get is uh, from two of the furnishing set or just one. But I guess we can try that out later when the game uh, is released. Or rather the feature is released. Right, you know what I mean, right? Whether or not you are able to get a specific set of rewards from each of the uh, furnishing set that they can be assigned to since that's two. Or it's just one. Likely knowing no Mihoyo is probably just going to be one. But hey, we can, one can only hope, right? Okay, so these are the items. Alright. Now, next is my personal favorite, the Bird and Blossom Park, which is essentially uh, revolving around the fountain that you get at Trust Rain 9. The fountain blueprint that you get at Trust Rain 9. It requires for this blooming hedge. This hedge is 30, sorry, 80 round currency each. So it's quite costly. You need four of this. That's like 320 already. It's even more expensive than a purple blueprint. Okay. It requires quite a number of the furnishing purchases from direct from the realm depot or from the or obtained from the adapter mirror reward. But if I'm not wrong, only the overground wild vest and color of the wind you get from the uh, adapter mirror. Blooming hatch for sure you do not get it. You have to purchase it. Mature trade hua tree as well if I'm not wrong. So anywho, these are the items required for Bird and Blossom Park. And in fact, for me personally, I'm probably gonna do four of this. Yeah, I'm gonna do four of this one. I'm gonna place four of characters over there. Because personally, I like the fountain, and I already have four fountains crafted. If I'm not wrong, and I already have sixteen of these right now, as part of my earlier design. So yeah, it makes natural sense for me to create four of these. You are not limited to one of these, right? You can do any number of these that you want. Okay. Now next is the gathering of gourmet. Although they call it gathering of gourmet, you'll notice that it's mostly uh, alcohol. Which I'll show you guys now. You have the wine jar, the wine shop, 
But okay, there is some fruits and cooking cauldron. But yeah, it looks more like a wine gathering because there's Beidou, <laughs> this Tartelia. Yeah. Alright, but this is one of the items, this is the one of the uh, furnishing set and there's the highest number of furnishing types, types of different types of furnishing that you need, and there's 15 here. So, yep, you better prepare for this, yeah. For me, but for if, for those they are all one each, right, it's not so bad, right, because you already have it when you are crafting your trust rank. But don't forget about the total figure here, which means more than one set item will require this, okay. This particular item because I'm sorting it view the view like this so for example pick for example bamboo outdoor tea ta table there are three different set that requires it all right now let's move on to the next one which is glittering street so you have glittering street here uh, the nice thing is that it's all one each okay wait that doesn't seem right let me double check whether I made any mistake here Okay, great. It is indeed one each, so that's nice, I guess. Okay. This is Glittering Street, and you notice it's mostly the Liyue characters. They are able to be assigned to this. Okay. Personally, what I'm gonna go for is I'm gonna be able to I'm gonna target to create one of each of these, every single one of them, and for the fountain. And maybe a few more of this if I like them enough after I see them in game. Okay, now let's move on to the next one, which is Tinta Crowd Residence. This is the one where both TT and Hudao can be assigned to, but unfortunately, you can only assign one character, I think. Otherwise, it would be nice to see the two of them in the same, uh, same furnishing set. Okay, so wow, this has even more, right? This is 16 different type of furnishings required and you even need 4 sturdy pine fence fences here 2 outdoor tea table, 2 dainty fist which uh, is actually a rock this is your rock formation that you can buy so simple rocks that you can buy from the Rao Depot directly okay so this is the Tinta Cloud Residence next up is of hunting and dancing I personally like this because this is the Hilicher one this is the one that makes use of all the Hilicher uh, furnishings, as you can see here. All the Hilicher related furnishings, so Hilicher fences as well. So this is nice. And most of the Hilicher items, you don't need more than one of it. If you look at the total figure here, yeah, this is the amount that you need. You don't need more than one of this. Okay? So that's very nice. Alright. Uh, I might build more than one of this, though, because I like the whole concept of having like a Hilicher team area around in the furnishing set. And the reason why I can assign this character to it is apparently this is like a training, a simulation training on the Hilicher territory. <laughs> Although the characters here, I'm surprised there's no Favonius Knights per se. Like the official Knights, you know, like Keia or Jin. But anyway, next A we have the it's a add extra episode episodes. Uh, excuse my pronunciation. I to today I am still not quite sure how to pronounce this since I am listening to the Japanese voice anyway. I mean in game. Okay. So these are the items required. Again, it's a good chance to make use of all your different tents that you have here. You don't really need to craft more than one of these, as you can see here. Okay. So this is the view for the set items, uh, for in terms of the tents and the camping concept. Now we will move on to the last one, which is Dawn Orchard. And for Dawn Orchard, just look at the characters. These are literally the four characters that you'll be able to find in the ta Monstead table. <laughs> Keia, Dilu, Venti, Rosara. In fact, three of them was featured in one of the videos, right? I can't remember which video it is, where Dilu snatched the beer bottle or wine bottle away from Keia. <laughs> And Rosara was like beside Keia. So yeah. Anyway, Dawn Orchard really looks like uh something plucked right out of the Dawn Winery in Monstead. And the amazing thing is that it need it needs eight of these newly grown grape vines. Which by the way is a new furnishing that only be available in 1.6. You can't pre-craft this. So this is probably gonna one I the one item that will take 
uh, most people quite a bit of time to prepare this, to set this up unless they put aside valves or adapter speed for this. Am I going to do that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It depends. Okay. And there's quite a lot of new items in this uh, Dawn of Church. This is new, this is new, this is new. Uh, this is new as well. This, this is new as well. Basically, the only existing items are these three. These are the only three existing items in this particular furniture set. Okay. <clears throat> and some of it, you'd even need two of this as well. Right. So, as I go through this, right, I know this video is getting a bit long, but the whole purpose of me going through each and every side item is so that you guys get the view of what is required per side item. You can use this video for reference. Now, let's look at total. Let's say you're someone who doesn't want to look at each individual side item. You have all the characters uh, that you, that you, you more or less have all the characters for each of the set item, meaning at least one character each for the set item, which should be the case, honestly speaking, unless you're a bit unlucky. Okay, but you should at least have, say for example, this set. Yes, there are two five star here, but that's okay. Yeah, everyone has Kaya, right? Everyone has Ember. Fisher, Bandit, Chi Chi, Chong Yun, Albedo. Maybe not everyone has Albedo. Not everyone has Chong Yun, but Fisher and Bandit is a lot more common. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to say. Let's say you are someone who's looking at just doing each, the total number of each of them. This is the view that I want to give you guys. Okay. Let me move the screen entirely just to the total. Uh, you guys can appreciate this. Okay. So. Let me just move the screen a little. Okay, so for folks who are not bothered with each other individual side items, you just want to look at the total number. This is what the total number that I can offer to you guys. So what this does is that you just need to make sure that you craft 8 of this. You, get, you buy 7 of this, you craft 7 of this in total. You buy 5 of this in total, you craft 5 of this, and so on and so forth. And these are all the different set items that you will need. Sorry, the different furnishings that you will need. I'm gonna move this through this screen slowly. Uh, honestly speaking, you can just pause. You can just pause the video and reference, right? So I'm gonna move down one page. Okay. So no worries. Those forty items. This that the list was up to row forty. So now it's up to row forty-one. For you guys to reference. Okay, so these are the items. This is the number that you require. This is just two, 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 two each. All right. Starting from those that total is only one, it means that you already have them. As long as you crafted them once for the trust value, other than the new items such as this tree here, where you do not have it yet. All right, but there's no preparation work to be done for that anyway. So the best part about the 111 each right is that it's going to be very very easy to check and refer and make sure that you already have it and you just cross it, cross it off your list other than say Tian Han Red member I'm pretty sure nobody bought this unless you specifically bought this for its design otherwise you wouldn't have bought this if you were just trying to get your trust rate up to 10 all right so that is uh, the next view on the next 33 it's going to be 33 furnishings each view because uh, kind of lazy to move the freezing part, all right? The freeze pins. I don't want to mess up the view. I want to keep the view constant for you guys. Not, uh, not really about laziness. Okay. Now next, starting from the seventy fourth one, these are the furnishings that you need. Honestly, other than the uh, orange shaded ones, you should already have one of each of these. And also other than the uh, the items that are new, for example, stone cut shape pool that's new. But most of these items, you already have it. Okay. Now, let's look at the third. Sorry, this is the third view already. Third page already. Let's look at the fourth page. Ah, okay. Fourth page is the final page. These are the all the furnishings that you will need. And if you look at all these items here, these are all existing items. You would already have one of each in order to get your trust rank. Trust rank, uh, palm as much as you can. So for those that are one, honestly speaking, you don't need to spend too much on time on them. You just need to do a quick double check, all right? It's those that are more than one that are the ones that you need to make sure that you do have more than one of them. You have the specific number of them required to be able to put them all inside items. 
and you will probably have to dismantle your existing set item to create the new set items. But honestly speaking, since the new furnishings are all like a more sophisticated or uh, expanded version of the existing set items, there's no harm in doing that, right? Alright, so this is the view on all the different set items that you can get, or rather you, you can try to uh, get. And basically this is the view. Uh, hang on, let me just move it a little later. Okay, so this is the view. In terms of all the 15 new Phoenician set items, the companions that can be assigned to them, each of the items, the view I have provided, and we have the total view here as well. Alright, so I hope this video is helpful to you guys for reference in terms of creating and preparing your Phoenician blueprints. I am definitely going to use it to uh, prepare and craft all the extra Phoenicians that, is, that are required prior to 1.6 release. From now on to 1.6 anyway, which is about a week's time for us to prepare. Very sufficient time, I would say. Right now, the last part I want to cover in this video is that on the existing set item, that the existing furnishing set item that is actually that allows you to assign companions to, and it's actually a very, very simple one. So let's look at that. Okay, so this is the one. I'm not sure whether it's a data mine error because it's a bit weird. Because right now, all of the characters have two set items that they can be assigned to Other than this existing set item here where it's like an additional one on top of their two But it's only for five characters here Jin, Razor, Sucrose, Xinyan, and Rosaria So it's a bit weird, I'm not sure whether it's a data mine error or it's something that's intentional on the uh, Mihoyo part But I think it should be intentional because most likely they want you to at least be able to assign companions without being having to first create a new companion uh, furnishing set item. You know what I mean? As in, for it's, it's to be a bit more friendly to beginners, where you don't need to have to create the new furnishing set because before you can assign a companion, you can just take one of these and assign. Because this is already in game, and these items here are all given to us, if I'm not wrong, uh, from the Adapter Mirror Handbook Rewards Okay So, yep, this is what I just want to mention So, there's also this that you can do In terms of assigning characters If you are not ready In terms of resources To buy all of this item Or at least those that you want yet This will be a good option At least for these characters, yeah Alright, so thanks everyone for watching I hope the video has been helpful to you guys I sincerely feel that this should be able to give some value adding in terms of your preparation at least it worked for me for sure so if you like the content remember that video and click subscribe for more yeah all right bye